Uh, to talk a little bit more in detail, I'm joined in the studio by our foreign affairs editor, Philip Turrell. Uh, thanks for being with us, Philip. Uh, another one of the announcements that was, was quite interesting was her talk about the European CHIPS Act. Uh, Ursula, Ursula von der Leyen saying that she wanted to make uh, the EU a, a leader in the supply of microchips. Uh, what did you make of that one, Philip? I think there is definitely a feeling uh, amongst EU leaders that the European Union is certainly far behind its main rivals, notably Asia in the manufacture of microchips or semiconductors, as they're known as what uh, Ursula von der Leyen was referring to in her speech. Uh, she's basically laid out what she says is a plan by the European Union uh, to manufacture its own microchips, saying that uh, there will be a new European Chip Act, which is going to be passed to create a state-of-the-art European chip. Uh, she said digital is the make or break issue uh, and that the EU has a 20 percent uh, target on that, which she said will be overshot. But uh, the underlying factor is that I think one of the aspects we saw right the way through this speech uh, from uh, Ursula von der Leyen is that Europe has got to be more independent. Europe can't depend on other regions of the world uh, to be independent. Europe has got to uh, make its own way. And one of the ways, which she said several times during this speech, uh, was through the creation of its own microchips. Uh, and also that would help in trying to fight against uh, cyber attacks. Uh, she said that uh, Europe is a victim, uh, like everywhere else in the world, of cyber attacks, many of them coming from Russia. And uh, anybody now can attack an election and influence that or uh, different companies. You don't need an army. You can do it from your um, uh, smartphone or from your laptop. Uh, so it's very important that, uh, that Europe gets that uh, independence from uh, other nations and other continents when it comes to the, the manufacture of uh, microchips in the future. Yeah, making Europe more independent, making Europe a leader, uh, notably as well on climate change. Uh, she made quite a few announcements there and sort of sent a challenge to uh, the U.S. ahead of the upcoming climate summit. There was certainly a call on the U.S. and on China to step up to uh, the challenge. She said that there was this uh, uh, fit for 55 uh, plan in the EU to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions by 55 percent by 2030. She said that that was on uh, track and that uh, probably uh, maybe even uh, would be reached before that. Uh, it was a legal requirement. Um, but she said that uh, the, the, the whole crux of the matter now was the upcoming uh, COP26 conference, which is going to take place in Glasgow. And she said that uh, pledges for 2030 will not be enough. Uh, what she says the world needs to do now is to step up to the challenge, particularly if it's China, and to make sure that those targets are met. Uh, pledges is one thing. Honouring those pledges is another. Uh, so a lot of words of encouragement and I think a lot of determination on the part of uh, Ursula von der Leyen once again to say, look, Europe is meeting its targets. It's time for the other nations around the world to do the same. All right, Philip, thank you very much.